Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches, and this is a shopping haul video. Um, or more a yarn hoarding video. Um, I thought I would show you some things I got at Joann's. Uh, my Joann's and Oshkosh just opened up, so I was like, I gotta go buy some yarn. And then I mentioned in a previous yarn chat that I got some yarn off of Amazon. So that finally came, I thought I would show it to you. I never showed you the yarn I got from the Dollar Tree, so I can pull that down and show you. And then finally, Knit Crate came. So if I thought I had more yarn than Walmart before, I've got way more yarn than Walmart. I'm almost a superstore. Okay, so the yarn I got at Joann's. Everything I bought was on sale. Now initially I only went to Joann's to see if they had my favorite yarn. Um, I'll do a yarn chat video. I wish I had something to put this on. I'll do a yarn chat video soon where I can show you like my current whips and all that jazz. Um, <clears throat> but I'm making a baby blanket. It's one of my favorite baby blankets and so I needed to hoard up some more of a certain kind of yarn. So Joann's had Karen Simply Soft for $3.49, which is still a little bit more than Walmart, but as we just said, Walmart doesn't have any yarn. So, I ended up spending doo -doo 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 -doo, $58. But you guys, uh, it was all on sale or clearance, um, and I got to use like my $5 off of 50, or $5 off of 35. $10 off of 50 something like that. And because I'm a teacher, I get 20% off, which I think is a real bargain because I'm not bringing this yarn to school. I'm not sure why I keep getting that discount, but it's nice. And then, like I said, everything was on clearance. So I'll tell you the regular price and then what it was on clearance for. Okay, so as you all know, I am recently started hoarding up the Kobu. Um, Kobu is a yarn that's approved for knitted knockers. So if you buy the like flesh colored ones, which I actually didn't buy really any, you can use these for those that who are um, victims of breast cancer. So uh, they had Kobu, which was regu regular price $4.99 on clearance for $2.97. I got two greens, grass green. And I don't remember why, if you are a regular You'll remember a while ago I said I wished Kobu had some green, and I remember saying that, but I don't remember why. So maybe one of you remember why I wanted it, and then you'll tell me. Then I bought some pink, or yeah, just straight up pink, and then I bought a yellow, and it's actually called yellow. Very, They're very true to their colors, aren't they? You're not gonna get any fancy names here. I'm um, gonna see what else I got. <clears throat> Magenta. Another yellow because as Shirley said with Jammin' and Yarn, you should always buy multiples. Don't just get one skein. Thank you, Shirley, for that advice. Another magenta. My husband probably doesn't appreciate that advice as much. Um, orange. Uh, I got that in case I wanted to make a pumpkin baby hat. Which, to be honest, I could use this as the topper, so I better find myself a baby in the fall. Another orange. And I think that's it for the Kobu. Oh, no, it's not. Don't worry. Um, ice blue. For those of you who don't know what the Kobu is made out of, um, it is... 3.5 ounces or 232 yards, 51% cotton from bamboo, and 51%, how does that equal? Oh, 49% from bamboo, 51% cotton. So it's a cotton bamboo blend. Okay, so apparently I broke my rule and only got one pink, but I already have some pink hoarded up there, so it's just adding. So that is the Kobu I bought. Then I found my Karen Simply Soft Rainbow. Let's see, how much was this originally? Karen Simply Soft Rainbow, $4.99, only a dollar off. But I am making another blanket with it, and I recently used up all the hoard that I had left. I'm going to use a tiny bit of this to finish off the row because I lost yarn chicken. And then I'll tuck this back up 
And then I got a color for the border. The last one I did a yellow and purple border. And on this one, I'm going to do, let's see if you can see my yellow. Yeah. I'm going to do a yellow and teal border on one and then a yellow and purple one on the other. Yeah. So I'm going to use those. I'll clean up that little mess in a minute. So I got two more. I got two teals. So that is my Karen Simply Soft Board. Someday I want to go to Joann's and buy two of every color of Karen Simply Soft. That is my, my dream. Okay, so the next thing that I hoarded up was some comfy cotton. I have not seen this at my Joann's yet, and I have only seen it at my Walmart, as we've established multiple times in this video. Walmart doesn't have any yarn. But Walmart never had these really awesome, fun colors. Take a look at that, you guys. This is Comfy Cotton Blend. Those of you who don't know, 392 yards, 50% cotton, 50% polyester. And this color is called Flower Garden, which reminds me real quick here. I didn't tell you actually what these names were. This is Blue Mint. I don't know if I agree with that name. Blue Mint. Whatever. And then my favorite ever... Um, Karen Simply Soft Rainbow Bright. Maybe because I was a child of 80s. I don't know. But anyway. So the Comfy Cotton, as I was saying, Flower Garden here, was buy two, get one free. Let's see how much their regular price was for that. Um, Comfy Cotton. It really wasn't that bad, y'all. It was $3.97 which I feel like is way cheaper than Walmart. I want to say Comfy Cotton at Walmart is like five something or four ninety seven. So I feel like I got a really good deal on that. So I have three Comfy Cottons. I can make a nice big summer shawl with this. Won't that be amazing? So spam me with your cotton shawl patterns. Or if there's one that you wanted to try and you want me to try it, send that in the description box there. Um, then I bought this and I'm going to do a yarn review on it. Now, as you guys know, I live in the Midwest here, so none of our yarn is all brand new. You've all probably seen it before, or at least the yarn companies have mailed it to Crystal on Bag O'Day, but I have not seen this, so I thought I would use it, make a video, review on it. First time ever I've seen this at my Joann's. It's called Re-Up, lionbrand.com. Over 1,000, oh, it says, um, this is Save the Planet stitch by stitch recycled cotton saves um over i can't read this i've gotten i've gotten old and my eyes aren't working um i can't read the print it's so small it saves 5900 cups of water per ball so using this wa saves water um it's a 4 and it's in the color way lilac and this cute little recycled paper label, and um, it has 114 yards, 85% cotton, 15% polyester. Not to be a downer, but polyester is plastic, and that's a real bad product for the environment. But I guess maybe it's off balance, it's balancing it out from the recycled label and the recycled cotton. So I got lilac, sky, and aqua those three colors and let's see how much were they they were a dollar 99 each but it was buy two get one free so that i'm going to use this i'm going to get be honest straight away apparently i was hoarding up cotton this trip all this is cotton this cotton bamboo is a real silky soft cotton this is a soft cotton this is a cotton polyester and it's kind of thicker and woolier feeling, whereas this is real silky. And this is real natural feeling. This feels almost like the peaches and creams. Um, so it's not a, a super soft cotton. You could probably, I mean, we'll have to see what happens after you wash it. But for sure, this is a dishcloth or a face scrubby or a trivet or pot holder. Whether or not you would wear make a blouse out of that, that's yet to be seen. Maybe I'll make a swash, watch it and dry it and tell you how it feels afterwards. But right now, this is not super soft. Um, not bad. So this is my Joann's yarn hoard. Um, and that was $58, which I think is a fairly good deal. It says here I only saved $14, but I felt like I was saving more. 
when I was buying it. But I also wasn't really thinking too much. I was just going through the store, knocking yarn into my cart. Okay, so now I'm going to show you real quick, since I told you um, I hoarded up some Amazon yarn. This is what I got off of Amazon. Nothing too exciting. Um, I needed this yellow to finish uh, the rugs I was making for my kitchen. And this is bright yellow, not lemon. One skein was $7 and then 14 for three. So it just seemed to me to be fiscally responsible to buy two, get one free. So that's what I did. I hoarded up this yellow. Plus, this is really nice for amigurumi in general. So you can always make a blonde doll <coughs> with your leftover yellow. Then I got some Karen Simply Soft Purple. And you guys, can I tell you something? Right now, I was last night just looking through my phone on the internet um, before I went to bed and... I wanted to say, I'll say it after I talk about this. So just, this is Iris, Karen Simply Soft Iris. This is six ounces and um, I don't see the yards. Oh, 315 yards. And I've got three of these and I want to say they were right. They I could only buy three. Amazon didn't have one. And when I ordered this, Joann's and um, Hobby Lobby were still shut down. And as I have said for like the seventh time this video, Walmart had no yarn. So I had to order this. And I like to use this. This is what I'm using for my baby blanket. The Rainbow Bright is the whole yarn. And then I'm using a combination of those three colors for a border. So that is why I hoarded up this yarn. Okay. Now, what I was going to say is I have been thinking just to be a little more. You all know what we're going on in this world. I don't need to mention that again <clears throat> but I was just thinking that I'm going to try to be a little bit more mindful to shop American made made in the USA if I can just like oh okay and so I wanted to let you all know that besides Lion Brand um, Lion Brand obviously has Lion Hometown and probably it's not all their yarn it said in there on the the website I was looking up about seven or eight different brand or uh lines of their yarn. Vanna Home Twist is one. This one here is made in Turkey. So some of their yarn is made in the USA and some of their yarn is made in Turkey. Um, I want to say this is one of them that's made in the USA. This is Lion Brand Woolies. The hometown obviously. So that's something to be mindful about if you are someone who's starting to be a little bit more concerned about supporting um, Americans in this economy right now, that Lion Brand is one that has a good portion of their um, products made in the United States. But to my surprise, I was thrilled to find out that Karen Simply Soft is made in North Carolina. And y'all know how much I love Karen Simply Soft. So I just felt like that just gave me a little bit more of a um, feel good when I was buying, hoarding up my Karen Simply Soft. Because I had just hoarded up for seven skeins of Karen Simply Soft. And that is made in the USA. So there is a lot of yarn made in Turkey, as we know. Um, so, you know, it's one of those things. It's a horse apiece, I suppose. But I just thought I'd check that out. And luckily, my two favorite brands, Lion Brand and Karen Simply Soft, are American, are made in the USA. Okay, so last bit of yarn hoarding that I have to share with you guys is my knit crate. I'm so sad that they're in these ugly little bags. Um, for some reason, it's so much more joyous to me when they are in those little teal boxes. <laughs> oh, but you know what, you guys? I'm a sucker for packaging and cuteness, so it gives somebody else a job, I guess, to design that kind of stuff, because I like it. Now, I don't know if many of you know, the last time they had a Knit Crate, for some reason, Knit Crate did not feel like they could make a booklet. They, you have to go online and download it, and I can only download patterns when I want to. For some reason, half the time, I can't download patterns. I don't know why. It's like when they put this card in here that says you have to download your patterns, all of a sudden I lose it and I forget it and I never download it. But <clears throat> that's what we're doing again this month, y'all. Knit Crate is having you go online and downloading your patterns. Um, Chem Knits is who they're featuring. She is Rebecca. She's a knitter and a yarn dyer, and she is amazing. Now, I've heard of her before. I don't know if I've watched many of her videos 
But um, check out the link in this description box here. I'll give you a link to her YouTube tutorials on dyeing yarn. And um, I can't review the book again. That's why I didn't mind doing it here at the end. Um, they also, let's see here. Knit Crate gave me some Kool-Aid because they want me to dye my yarn with Kool-Aid. Well, I'm going to tell you what, y'all. I'm going to make this up for my kids to drink, and then I'm going to use my Rit dye because I like to dye using Rit dye. I don't know. Okay, so this is my fear. I've never used the Easter egg palettes or Kool-Aid or juice to dye my yarn. I'm afraid at some point it's going to wash out. Now, it might not. I've obviously not done it, but that is my fear. I prefer to use fabric dye to dye my yarn. Um, then we also got this little thingy here. Just looks like it's um, a post-it. Lots of post-its, little tiny post-its and big post-its. And amongst yarn and other crafting supplies, um, if you ask my husband, I do hoard paper also. So this was, <laughs> that's delightful. And it's got a cute little smiley face on it. See that? Okay, so, and then these zip ties. I'm guessing this must be for the dyeing procedure, these two black zip ties. And then the yarn that they gave us is bear yarn. Obviously, that is yarn that is waiting for color. There's nothing else in that package. And this is what it looks like. It's super thin. Let's see what they call it. This month, we're giving you an exciting dye-your-own-adventure. Your crate includes some bare yarn with enough Kool-Aid to dye it. Rebecca Brown of Kim Nate Creations, Kim Net Knits, um, shot a tutorial video on how to use your bare yarn. And um, if you get bitten by the yarn dyeing bug, as we suspect you will, you can stock up on more yarn from dyersupplier.com at 15% off with the coupon. So if you got this, but I'm going to tell you what, y'all, I usually get my bare yarn from Knit Picks. Um, but if you if you got this card, you can get 15% off, I guess. Um, it doesn't, oh, this is 75-25 merino wool fingering, 75% merino, 25% nylon, so kind of like a sock weight. Fingering weight yarn, a sock yarn, I mean. So, and it's already twisted up in these little bunnies. If you want, I'll put a link in the description below to the wonderful video that my husband edited and helped me make when I dyed yarn upstairs in my very kitchen. Um, and again, I follow, I'll also put a, I'll put a link in the description to Rebecca Brown because great job for her being on in the knit crate. But I'll also put a link in the description to the gal that I followed. Um, and used her techniques. Her name is Brie. I'm a little partial to a girl's name, Brie, because that's my sister's name. So yeah, that is it for my yarn hoarding video. This is the yarn that I have hoarded um, this last week. I'm very excited about it. I'm going to actually clean up my cozy corner, crafting corner here, and I'm going to figure out how to do a video where I kind of show you. I'm going to ask my husband to help me edit you know how like sometimes you see those and like you set up the camera and it's rolling and I'll be like organizing and then in parts he'll speed it up and maybe play a little music in the background. I'm getting crazy over here. Um, but I thought maybe it'd be kind of fun to organize a little better. Right now my yarn is just stuck up here with pretty colors. At one point, um, like this is my fancy knit crate merino wools, expensive yarn. This is some red heart with a little bit of Hobby Lobby underneath it. This was Karen Simply Soft, and then I stuck some Lion Brand in there. I got my Kobu. I mean, it's just a mix. I really have no rhyme or reason. I guess maybe I'm grouping it by the type of yarn. Lion Brand, Kobu, Cottons, Red Heart, Karen Simply Soft. And then over here, <laughs> I have another. I should turn it for you all so you can see. But this yarn is not as beautiful. This yarn hoard is, um, at one point that was all cotton, but oh, look, there's my premier Dollar Tree yarn. I'll pull that down in a second. Here is my Hobie or Hobby yarn. Here is a bunch of Karen Simply Soft, I guess, jammed in with some other stuff. Here is all my, my thicker, thick and quick, my chunky yarns that I use to make like halves and scarves. Here is a bunch of yarn that I got from Ireland from our gal Mary. Here is some baby yarn. Oh, you can't see it on the bottom. Hoarding up some baby yarn down there. And on the very bottom shelf is the ice yarn. Um, I'm not making anything out of it right now. 
So I really need to, I think that's how I'm organizing is by brand. So if you want to give me some ideas on how you organize your yarn, whether it's based on color or weight or whatever, just let me know. I don't know. I'm thinking about trying to organize up a video like that. Okay, you all, that is all I have for this video. Uh, now I have to put all this stuff away. <sighs> It'll be fun though, right? We all love hugging our yarn. All right, well, thanks for watching and subscribing. Thanks for liking and sharing my video. And until the next video, happy crafting. Bye.